Hello guys and welcome back to the third episode of our Final Fantasy X HD Remaster playthrough. I've got my Xbox One controller hooked up, um, so we're going to be trying this playthrough using a controller. I'm hoping it's, well I'm not hoping, I'm pretty sure it's actually going to make everything a bit easier and feel a bit better. Um, I think it will make it feel more like it used to on the PlayStation and for certain it will be easier to control. Uh, one thing I did find out after I'd finished recording was if you press escape on the keyboard you bring up this menu that has been added by Steam or on the PC by the remaster. Um, we can go system settings up here, key bindings, controller and we can see all of our controls which is going to be very helpful um, we'll just come out of this and the other one we had which I like the look of was special features no I don't like special features at all uh, this is something that the PC remasters added that is a bit cheaty same here um, I don't like that at all I don't really think you should just be able to press a button and get everything done. Um, that just to me that takes away everything from the point of the game. Somewhere around here I saw... I did see a button for a vibration um, and now I can't find it. I thought it was in key bindings. Um, Hmm, that's strange. Uh, is it system settings? Anyway, not important. Um, found it. <laughs> we'll just do that, make it feel a little bit better. Right, carrying on from where we were last time. I guess we talked to Riku. We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're going to go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm hmm. Okay, let's get to work. That's it, the scavengers. Now I'm remembering. I'm preferring this already with a controller. Um, my hands are starting to get a little bit tired from using the keyboard. This is definitely much better. It's going to help out a lot for the longer recording sessions, I think. It definitely feels more natural as well. Uh, and I have to say I'm very impressed with the way it has automatically set the keyboard up. I haven't had to tweak any set uh, the keyboard, sorry, the, the controller. I haven't had to tweak any settings whatsoever. Um, everything has just worked straight out the box. The one thing I would add to that is a vibration isn't working. Um, I'm not sure why. But for whatever reason, vibration isn't working for me. But that's something I can live with. I'm not not really that worried, if I'm honest, about that. Which way are we supposed to be going? We're supposed to be going this way. Follow the map when in doubt. Oh, well, we'll get back in the way here, I guess. Uh, I don't want to waste any grenades on these guys. Because the grenades are going to be handy later on and we haven't really got money to be able to buy supplies at the minute and I don't fancy grinding away two three hours just sort of killing random creatures trying to get gill up yet um, if it comes to the point that I do need to grind a little bit what I will probably do is 
I will record it and I will then do a time lapse or something. Um, I think that would be the best way. <laughs> That's one way to get it to work, I suppose. Just keep hitting it. Okay. So, we're going to swim straight through here. Lake Sioux. That is a lot of guys. Um, only two at a time. Okay, that works for me. Let's just do it as quickly as possible. Didn't really get any AP there, but at least we did get some spheres for later on. Give me one second here, guys. I just need to grab a quick drink of water. Oh, that's better. Right, sorry about that. Uh, we shall carry straight on. And this way. It was a little bit dry because this will be the third episode that I've recorded back to back. I just cannot stop playing this at the minute. Um, that was not the correct way to go. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so that was the first fail of the episode. Going the same way we've already gone. X marks the spot as always. Of course. take it back, vibration is working. Um, so I'm guessing vibration is just in the cutscenes and not in combat, perhaps. Perfect. Feeling just like playing how I used to play on the console. Certain battles press left in the command window to access them. Stand by. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. We do recover a little bit of health as well. That was a bit harsh. Okay, we can live with that. Um, I think we shall throw a grenade at you for that. So you should do underwater because the compressor wave would we'll probably kill you if you ever tried that. Just a little tip for you there. Right, he's going to do a charge again, so. Attack the enemy from both sides. That sounds like a very good idea. should stop it from charging us. There we 
haven't got a overdrive ability yet. I'm about to go though. Nice to get, I think it's called Scan. So we can see how many hit he actually has. Um, and then we can use the teams, etc. Should we try stealing again though? Let's just attack. Okay. I think we're going to use a potion just to be safe. Have to try and figure out which keyboard buttons to press. Keyboard keys. And that finished him off as well. Just how we like to end the battle with one of our overdrives. Zero AP earned. Ah. No items found. Well, that wasn't awesome, but anyway, we'll make do. Futra airship! Rada looked for a neck. Airship. Hoof, roof to Tonga Deep. Way, which hitter? Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? They <laughs> really don't like us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, 
Hey! <sighs> Hello there. What is your name? Riku. Whoa! You really do understand. <laughs> <Whoa -hoo -hoo! laughs> huh? Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um... Who are you guys, anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an Albed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you <laughs> from? Xanarkin. I'm a Blitzball player. Uh, star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you... hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? <laughs> oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Wha wha what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Yes way. Okay, uh, we're definitely going to save again. Save. It's probably as good a time as any to create a second save slot. Just in case something goes wrong, we've got a point to fall back on. You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh, and one thing don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> Someone's a bit confused. My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Uh -uh. Whoa, whoa! Oh, we're 
this doesn't look good. Second time today. Yes, we'll save the current game. Um, we will put it in that first slot there. Blitzball! Hey, you okay? Hey! Just before we swim in there, I seem to remember that there was a couple of chests round here. I mean, I'll get, it's mad how you can remember little details from so long ago. I mean, it must be more than... Okay, I can't remember that well. <laughs> it must be about... Oh, maybe 15 years? 10-15 years since this was released. Some of these bits, ah oh, there's the chest. I can still remember a lot of these things. I mean these just, oh, I love these games. I've played them so much. Um, I don't think we need to go around that. Let's just go and talk to... Oh, I can't remember what his name is. Um, Waku? Waka? Waka. Yo! Hiya! You wanna... Try that move... One more time? Finally! Things were starting to look up. For. The Xanarkin Abes. What team you say again? Uh, I meant... forget that. Uh, I got too, uh, close to sin and my head's all foggy-like. So, uh, I don't know where this place is. Or even where I came from. Sin's toxin got to you. But you're still alive. Praise be to you. All right, back to practice. I'm Waka, Waka coach uh, and uh, captain of the Besaid Oryx, brother. Uh, uh, uh. What? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I'll get you something. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, 
right? A thousand years ago? So it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. And then, well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the machina cities. And Xana came along with them. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago, just like you said. If you ask me, sins are punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? <laughs> but you from the Xanark and Daves, that was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was... Everything that happened to me, all this, started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I'd just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. Okay, I'm going to call this episode here, guys. It's getting late for me. And as well, we're approaching the 30-minute mark, I think. I'm sorry this episode was a little bit cutscene heavy, but it's going to be like that sometimes. Sometimes it's going to be a lot more action, very few cutscenes. Sometimes it's going to be a lot of cutscenes, because this is a cutscene story-driven game. Uh, let's just double-check that we did save. My new save data. Okay, yep, we've saved. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in our next episode.